Yeah, so uh, we are still here at uh, Choma Major Street Court. Uh, where the, we are still here at uh, Choma Major Street Court. And uh, right now, everybody is outside. They have stood down the matter for, I think, about 30 to 40 minutes. I think there was an application for the phones that were grabbed from the, 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 the accused persons. Uh, you know, it's very unfortunate that uh, even Mrs. Mukuni is, is being uh, uh, persecuted uh, for, for being an innocent citizen, so to say. You know, how do you just arrest somebody? An innocent woman, an, is, an innocent housewife from the kitchen, you start bringing heavily armed police officers for a, a wife of the chief, a wife of a, tr a traditional ruler. It's very unfortunate that... Uh, 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 such things are happening here in our country, you know. Like I had uh, alluded to earlier on that our country has gone to the dogs. And for real, our country has gone to the animals. It's like now we are just living in a, a, an animal farm. Very, very unfortunate. I want to say that we have no medicines in, in the hospitals. But government has got money to spend on bringing in a lot of police officers at the court premises, heavily armed police officers, spending money on fuel, taxpayers' money, money that is supposed to buy medicine out there in the hospitals. You know, just troubling the police officers who are supposed to be doing their, their duty in the, in, the, in, the, in the offices there, or police officers who are supposed to be protecting uh, 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 the country. But they are brought here just to come and sit here Wait for two or three people who are in court, very, very uncalled for. And that is very dull thinking. And for sure, when President Nungu said he had no vision, he was serious about it. And he meant it. This is not having a vision. Where you, 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 you load up vehicles, police vehicles, with a lot of fuel, and the fuel which are on the high side of, of pricing, you load the police vehicles with very expensive diesels just to come and intimidate people out here. People who are just here to support an innocent citizen who is being harassed by the government of Zambia. What sort of government is this? I want to pray for all the Zambians to make the rightful decisions when the 12th of August comes. Let us vote for Hakainde Ichilema, who has a vision. He has shared his vision with us. He has shared his manifesto with us. European ND party has the strongest manifesto in this country. Let's try this party. Let's try our president. We see, and I'm telling you out there, the Zambians who are listening to me right now, that immediately Haka in the Hichilema comes into office, you will never see such kind of nonsense happening around this country. This whole nonsense will be put to an end. We want our Zambia back. We want our decent Zambia back. We want a decent leader in that office, a leader with a vision. Let us look up to having a Zambia with a free education for our children. Let us look forward to having a Zambia with the three meals on the table for each family in this country. You know, I think for now, I'm, I'm quite disappointed. And I can end with saying I'm very, very disappointed. My party, UPND, is very disappointed. My president is very disappointed at the manner that innocent citizen are, uh, citizens are being harassed by the police. In a manner that innocent wives are being arrested, taken into cells. In, innocent wife of, of, of a chief being arrested, it's an embarrassment, total embarrassment in this country. Thank you. We'll still update you with uh, whatever outcome uh, at the end of the court session. Thank you.